Hello, Coach Carmen here. I'm on my way to my favorite park to work out, spend some time with God, do some visualizations, some meditations, you know, my Zoe Spirit practices. You want to join me? Come on. So you may ask yourself, well, Coach Carmen, why do you walk two and a half miles to the park? Why don't you just get in the car and drive to the park? Well, the reality is, number one, believe it or not, I don't have my driver's license. And sometimes I don't want to wait around for Anthony to drive me, to be in the mood to go to the park with me, or to drive me. So I've learned to walk to the park. And what's great about walking to the park is that it gives me a great exercise, a warm-up for my joints and my muscles. So by the time I get to the park, I'm all ready to run. So I do a mile run around the park, and then I do some ab work, some stretches, I do my chest work, and some squats. And after that, I can leisurely relax on a bench, just sitting, looking at the beautiful water. You'll see the park, you'll see how gorgeous it is, and why it is worth taking the time to get there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to relax and spend some time with God. So, I have about a mile, well, two miles left to walk, and it's up some fierce hills, so that's a great workout as well. Whew. Wow, I have about a mile left on my walk to the park. I just want to stop for a minute and just talk about why it's so important to continue working out after the age of 40, over 40 and over 50 and beyond really. Um, for me, I just realized that if I did not continue to work out, it was going to get harder and harder for me to stay fit. In fact, um, I really had no choice. I had been slim and trim all of my life and at 40, I started to gain some weight and I knew that I had to step up my workout. And that's when I began working out at the park. I began walking from my home to the park and then doing my, my run and then all of my um, ab work and squats and chest work. And I did that at least four to five times a week and it really paid off. But what happened was when I got sick, and I was homebound for two and a half years, it was really, really hard because I couldn't work out. For close to three years, I couldn't work out at all because my, my skin would rip and, and tear. Um, the illness I had was really horrifying, and it kept me homebound. So I ended up losing a lot of muscle. My muscles atrophied, and... Um, but thank God muscle have, have memory. So once I started working out again, the muscle started building up. But at, by that time, I had gotten to um, a certain age in, in my life where it's just hereditary that the fat cells start to really build up around your waistline. I mean, it's amazing how the body starts to shape, reshape itself. My uh, glutes started to atrophy and uh, fat cells started to build up so much around my stomach, my waist, my sides of my waist and my back that my body was beginning to become a box. I lost uh, my curves and I realized that I was going to have to step it up even harder. So that's why I'm back at the park. I'm back walking to the park and working out at the park. So that's it. I'll see you at the park. So here it is. Silver Lake Park. Isn't it lovely? It is so serene, peaceful, beautiful. And you can see there's not a lot of people. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. Now you can see why I would take a two and a half mile walk to work out. It is so worth it. It is so worth it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous.
praise God. So I got my squats in, I did my chest work, of course I did my run, and now it's time for dessert. Just reflecting, reading the word, planning my day, and uh, fellowshipping with God. Doesn't get any sweeter than that. It's awesome. Look at this view. It's simply divine. What a blessing. What a blessing.